Naughty, reporting for Kids First. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with writer and director Jim Archer and producer Rupert Magendi about their heartwarming sci-fi comedy film, Brian and Charles. This film was a breakout production for director Jim Archer. Rupert Magendi not only produced this film, but using a voice generating software, he created the heartwarming character of Charles, we all love so dearly. Let's talk with Mr. Archer and Mr. Magendi about Brian and Charles. Thank you, Mr. Archer, and thank you, Mr. Magendi, for joining me on the show. Question one. Can you tell me what the inspiration behind Brian and Charles was? Uh, well, it all came from sort of David's character, uh, who he'd been playing for a long time on, on, on stage, on the stand-up scene. That's where the sort of, the, it started in the voice and the sort of the look. And then later generated from a radio show, like Rupert did a phone in with the voice of Charles. Um, and that's where that kind of started. And then Chris, who's the other writer on it, heard that and sort of thought, oh, I can I imagine what that might look like as a robot. <laughs> so built that and then it became this live double act. And then eventually we made a short film. And I mean, it's been like 15 years. Yeah, yeah. Of... So that makes it sound like it was over a couple of years. There's yeah. a, a long, long period of time for over that. Yeah. yeah. But that's the sort of super <clears throat> fast kind of uh, version of it. Oh, wow. What message do you hope people will take from watching Brian and Charles? I think I just want people to feel like uplifted. Mm. I mean, and just like, and understand that the power of friendship and yeah. And like, you know, overcoming loneliness and yeah. And Every, everything's going to be okay. Yeah. Everything's yeah. going to be okay. Yeah. yeah. What is the biggest challenge you face maybe writing, producing, or even directing this film? I think, well, we, we, we shot it during COVID. So I think that was a big challenge that we that we didn't we hadn't done before. So that was that was new and interesting. But also where we shot it was in the middle of nowhere. So just geographically, it was quite quite challenging to get big trucks up muddy hills and stuff like that. But um, I could yeah. imagine. Yeah. yeah. Also, just laughing on set. I think there's yeah, like that's good, yeah, yeah, like a lot of like you know, it's really Charles is really silly, and so just sort of like getting through takes where. He's really unpredictable as well, because 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 Chris in the costume can't see, mm. so he's just bumping into stuff all the time. What is your favorite scene in this film? My favorite scene. My favorite scene, I think, is where uh, it's quite a simple one. It's where Brian first shows Charles the outside world, where like he like looks like across the countryside for the first time, and and Charles asks what birds do, and <laughs> like yeah, uh, and oh no, can birds do what they like? That's the line. Like, I love that oh. line. And then sort of, uh, Brian gives this kind of looks to camera and then Charles gets scared from the birds. And I just thought that whole kind of sequence is sort of like sweet and then really funny and yeah. What, what's that. your favorite scene in it? If you... Good question. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, like we, we sort of, I feel like if we had, even if we had loads more money, we still would have kept it this, in oh. a similar style. So <laughs> like, you know, I, I don't think there's, no. I, I don't like I'm not saying we've made a perfect film but I feel like once you've made something you've made it and it's there like otherwise yeah, you no can regrets yeah there's no yeah. regrets yeah Ooh, okay since this film is about unconventional friendships so I have to ask does this remind you of any of your relationships in real life I think well the 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 main reference for it was David who plays Brian he has he at the time had a teenage son who's like in his 20s now but so I think I think there was a lot of authorship there that was based on on their relationship as father and son growing up at, at the different stages to you know from being being an, a normal young kid to a, a tricky teenager and and then sort of settling into your 20s I think that that was that was a big that was the big inspiration. Yeah, and also I think we've all I think well I don't know, but I think everyone's felt lonely at some point. Yeah. Whether you're even if you've you know you're always with something like someone, but yeah. So I think like a lot of the, a lot of the emotions of a lot of the characters sort of come from one of us or all of us. Mm. Well, do you have any advice for young directors or writers or producers who maybe feel like their age is a limitation? Um, I'd say just uh, like from a sort of making or sort of writing and directing point of view, just, just make stuff yeah. like, you know, borrow, if you haven't got a camera or a phone, borrow that from someone and just start filming stuff. Yeah. And, like, and, and don't be precious, I guess. Just yeah. sort of let it, just put it out there and see what happens. And 
you know, let it organically grow. Yeah. Don't, don't feel un under pressure to to make it perfect first time round. Yeah, don't worry yeah. about it being bad. Ooh, like, yeah. you'll make a lot of bad stuff. We, we've all done. <laughs> Yeah, I've yeah. made all my stuff before this has been bad. Yeah. <laughs> but, That's why we hired him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like I had a lot. I used to make lots of sketches that I that I put on mm. the internet, and now like I I you just deleted all I, I deleted my name from them, <laughs> so I can't find them. But, uh, yeah. If our audience wants to follow your journey, how could they do that? Uh, I guess just wait for the next uh, thing. I guess you could look at. IMDb look page. at my IMDb page. and watch everything he's ever made <laughs> yeah go go yeah. on my IMDb and, and follow <laughs> yeah or just um I mean I have social media but I'm not particularly interesting on there I'd say or just call his agent call my agent yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah call okay. my agent daily and just ask what I'm up to <laughs> everything <laughs> thank you Mr Archer and thank you Mr Majendi for talking with me I'm Hanadi reporting for Kids First be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to stay informed about upcoming films thank you bye <laughs> I want to go to Honolulu. Charles, what are you wearing? It's my Hawaiian hula skirt. Ah!